I heard that if you design a beautiful background with balanced colors, add a strong middle that catches the eye, spice it up with a nice foreground, sprinkle with a few subtle details like plants and people, add actions and motion to everything, and slap a slow zoom on top, you end out with an impressive scene that lasts a few seconds and took an entire day to create. <laughs> Everyone loves animation, from Toy Story to corporate training. Nothing tells a story or explains a concept better. But how can we use animation without spending endless hours on it? What's an alternative way to animate that anyone can do in minutes? And why does it still make sense to learn animation when AI can do it for you? These are important questions to ask to be able to use animation, but also to protect our time. And after more than 10 years and thousands of hours creating animations for clients, my own courses, and these YouTube videos, I found an alternative approach to animation that saves you 90% of your time while still giving you the benefits of using animation. What often happens for the students in my basic animation courses is that they enroll and they really love the idea of animation, but then they get scared off by how long it takes to create. Whew. After 12 hours, here's my first video. Yes, all beginning is hard and it takes time to get the hang of it, but it's not the main reason why it takes so long. No, where you save the most time is actually the step that happens up in your head before you sit down and create anything. It's not about how you create, it's what you create. Your idea for what to animate may come from storyboards or maybe your intuitive imagination when you sit down and start to create. But to save a lot of time on this, you have to question your first idea. It's crucial to understand that there are literally hundreds of ways to animate the same thing and your first idea is rarely the best one. As an example, here are three different ways to animate the same sentence. Sally ranked number one in her class. Sally ranked number one in her class. Simplified a bit, same idea, but with fewer details, incremental time saving. Sally ranked number one in her class. Simplified a lot, different idea, just a face and a number, radical time saving. In both cases, you simplify, either by simplifying the design of the first idea or coming up with an alternative idea that's just as great at explaining what's happening, but takes way less work. And this leads us to the next question. What goes into this alternative way of animating? It's a style I stumbled upon when binge watching YouTube videos about graphic design. Balance is the equal distribution of visual weight. In other words, how much any one thing attracts the viewer's eye. These explainer videos are just beautiful. Millions of views and such a delight to watch these super simple lessons on typography and color theory. So I went ahead and created my own super simple version of this, a five and a half minute long explainer video, way longer than I normally recommend, but because it only took a few minutes per scene, it was no problem. And an animator could teach how to use a specific piece of software. Unicycle parkour, competitive crab racing, no niche is too small. The secret is to get rid of backgrounds, environments, and all visual context really. You just use a one colored background and show the main thing with as few objects as possible. A big time saver is to get rid of characters as well. Icons, symbols, faces, single words, and then just add a bit of movement to the thing you want to steer the eye towards. Scene transitions are simply wipes to color changes, nothing fancy. And all scene designs are the result of trashing that first idea and coming up with simpler and then simpler ways of showing what's said. The goal is to use animation not to win awards, but to explain simply, to show and tell, to carry a point across. If your artistic self can come to terms with this, you can save hundreds of hours by going with the simplest and not the most impressive idea. Although quality actually doesn't suffer from going simple. Just look at this comment I got from posting my simple explainer video on LinkedIn. Yo, this is such an amazing video. Well done. I think the simplicity is awesome. And he's right, simplicity is awesome. All the hours spent on building advanced and complex scenes may actually be a disservice to the viewer and ultimately a waste of time. Put simply, your videos become better when you make them simpler. This is not easy, but it is a skill you must learn, which leads us to the next question. Is it even worth it to learn animation yourself when the AI tools get better every day? Look at what I use beyond they invest heavily in AI features that turn a simple text prompt into a video. Welcome to our company. 
let me tell you a bit about who we are and what we do. And other text-to-video tools pop up daily with bold promises of changing media forever. But there is a pretty significant problem with this. It's not actually faster to create with AI if you use this crazy simple approach I suggest, and if you're fine with this flat 2D animation style. I find myself spending longer using these out-of-the-box videos than if I had created it from scratch using four or five different elements and just a colored background. Also, AI often misses the point of using animation, which is to expand on what's set in a creative way. For free, you've given them information. Now they pay for implementation. Simply showing some generic scene with a character that lip syncs to the voiceover doesn't expand on everything. It simply mirrors it somewhat. Our company has won multiple awards for innovation and customer satisfaction. We use animation to elaborate on what's said in creative ways. We add another level of understanding to the words. AI can't do this yet in 10 years, probably. But today, now, animating with this super simple alternative approach, you can learn this in a week. It is worth it. You've got time. So take the next five minutes to watch this video next, where I attempt to explain what's said, but also elaborate on it with this super simple animation approach.